What is up guys? Welcome back to another AMC video. Now before we dive any deeper into AMC, definitely check out the private Discord server guys. Link in the description below. We got several different trades here. If you guys are interested, definitely trade with us. In fact, we are completely transparent about our profits and loss. And every month and every couple of weeks, you always post this. For example, gains for this May was almost $8,000. And we document every single one of our options trades and also crypto trades. So definitely check it out. And by the way, we got some upcoming stuff coming up that you guys want to see like unusual stocks, unusual options activity. It's like your own little mini Bloomberg terminal for a price of like a Chipotle bowl. But nevertheless, let's get back to AMC because this is what you guys came here for. And we all know a lot of the shorts right now are not being covered here. I just wanna make something straight because there's too many misconceptions I just keep seeing constantly. Everyone's like, oh, the shorts have already covered. This is why AMC went up 100% in the past week. That is wrong because according to Light Sheds Greenfield and several people on Twitter and people have been looking into the charts and the books, the shorts are not covering and they're not buying back the shares to close their positions. They're doubling down. In fact, before Friday's close, 4 million additional AMC shares were borrowed and most likely shorted. And the shorts are essentially getting more of these and they want to get the price of AMC down. It's really funny here because when the shorts actually double down, the retail traders get even more ferocious because yesterday we got Germany really going into AMC pretty hard and roughly 25 euros is like 30 to $31 USD. So that's a pretty massive rebound. And I know the price of AMC probably has changed now by the time you watch this video, but today the main topic of the video is gonna be hedge funds and what these guys are doing. Now I get it, some of the hedge funds out there are simply shorting AMC and you don't really like that, but not all hedge funds are bad. In fact, some of the hedge funds are actually doubling down their position and buying even more. Now the closest quarterly report that I could find for example, for BlackRock is gonna be May 7th. Now this is like three weeks ago, but a lot of times these hedge funds, when they hold a position, they hold it for the long term. Now AMC is in like the biggest company in the world. It's actually like a pretty decently sized, 8 billion to 10 billion market cap might not seem a lot, but it's a decent chunk. It's not really like a penny stock by any chance. Now, BlackRock owns roughly 6% of the whole entire company, and in the most recent quarterly filing, they actually increased their shares by 340%. Now, BlackRock right now hold roughly 27.3 million shares, and I'm pretty sure they probably bought even more by now, and the market value is a quarter billion dollars. And we also have other major guys, including Blink, including Bank of New York Mellon Corp. Now, these guys are an enormous banking group and they own roughly 0.32% of AMC, 1.4 million shares. You also have some big names on Morgan Stanley in the most recent quarterly filing around May 18th, which is just a week ago. It was indicated that they increased positions by 34% and they're doubling down and buying more shares. You got big guys like Northern Trust Corp. These are like multi-billion hedge funds and big banks. They increase their positions by 269%. And you also have BlackRock once again, increasing by 340%. Absolutely crazy here. And a lot of people are doubling down. And yes, some funds right now are cutting back to positions, but the big giants right now, like Morgan Stanley, BlackRock, are doubling down and they're buying even more shares with the retail traders. Now you also have the most recent quarterly filing. For example, Principal Financial Group, these guys are a little bit smaller, but they also have increased their shares by 26%. Now, yes, some of these guys have cut back positions, but what's really funny is you got the California State Teachers Retirement System, pretty sure that's like a pension fund, has increased their AMC shares by 390%, which is pretty crazy. And once again, Morgan Stanley is going pretty hard. You also have Walleye Capital. They haven't really moved anything. And most of these guys are either doubling down and buying more AMC stock or they're not really buying or selling anything. Very few of these guys are actually selling. Now, I just want to keep in mind that some of these hedge funds are going in pretty hard and they kind of want to short squeeze just like us. And right now, we got the total short interest of AMC really increasing, which is kind of crazy right here. And you even got Jim Cramer out there saying, if you're shorting AMC stock, 
you're absolutely out of your mind because he knows the power of Wall Street bets and the power of retail traders. One retail trader might not see much because they're like, okay, I'll buy like maybe 50, 100 shares of AMC. But when you have thousands and even millions of retail traders doing the same exact thing, just you know, all together like apes and essentially just buying one stock and they're really dedicated, then that price really does go up. This is why AMC went up 100% in the past week. And this is due to a little bit of the gamma squeeze, a little bit of the short squeeze, but not really. There is no major short squeeze from the big hedge funds. And this is just purely on retail buying and also big hedge fund buying. Hedge funds are very interested in buying to AMC. This is why you got the big giants here, right here, like the top 10, all doubling down and buying even more, even Renaissance Technologies. These cars are a massive fun, and they're not selling or buying an AMC. They're just sticking to whatever they have on the sidelines to see what's going on. But BlackRock is honestly taking a massive gamble here and increasing their shares by 340%, and they have $279 million of AMC, worth 6% of the whole entire company, and these guys are diamond handing the way all the way through. And once again, you do have the shorts increasing. Because you got so many synthetic shares being made and shorted, it's almost impossible to buy all of these back. Now, there's even a chance where AMC could be hitting even $1,000 a share. I know it may seem kind of crazy, but something like that may actually happen, especially due to the fact that the free float you know, is heavily being shorted. Right now, we already know that 94.5 million shares are being shorted, roughly $1.2 billion. This is almost 20% of the whole entire company. Now this report date was back around May 14th and already a couple weeks have passed. What everyone is guessing is the shorts have probably doubled down because just Friday alone, we got 4 million shares being borrowed and shorted. So my guess is it's probably 110, maybe even 120 million shares being shorted at this current market. We could be seeing a 20 to 25% of the overall float being shorted. And what's really funny is only 5% of a stock should be shorted, you know, if you according to the average. But right now, the shorts are ferocious. They're doubling down. And everyone's just getting really mean. And everyone's just going pretty crazy. Let's just see what happens because really wild stuff is going on. And AMC might be having a massive short squeeze potential. And we also could be seeing a massive gamma squeeze which is also pretty nice to see. But nevertheless though, I'm really hyped up for AMC. Really interested to see what these guys have to offer. And that's what it guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, definitely check out once again, the private Discord server, link in the description below. We actually put in all of our trades out. It's pretty amazing. We got market info, stock data. Look at all this really incredible stuff. You want to check this out, a lot of cool stuff. And also check out BlockFi, link in the description as well. Click on it, make a BlockFi account deposit some money and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. Thanks for watching guys and comment below.